One of the uh, beautiful things about a night like this uh, is that it brings out the boy in us. Uh, we're privileged. We get to meet our heroes, uh, such as uh, hurling legends uh, Eddie and Babs and former great footballer Martin Carney. Uh, Eddie, uh, you and I go back a long way talking about hurling, and I know that you've never really been comfortable talking about yourself. So it just occurred to me watching Chunky and Frank Cummins there, I think something like 12 All-Ireland medals between them. So it must have been happy days for you, special days playing with guys like that. So it was fabulous, Jim. Um, Frank was played, I'd say, he must have a record, eight all Ireland medals at centre field. And Chunky was just coming on the scene there, I think, in 72. A fabulous, skillful hurler. And uh, there's lots of shots of Chunky's skill uh, in, in the archive. So brilliant players. Yeah, because we can't forget on a night like this, Eddie, that it's a team game. It's a team game. But we were very fortunate in that time that we had players like um, Frank Cummins and Chunky. And, of course, the Pat Hendersons and... Uh, Noel Skeens, all you know, very strong backbone in that team, which brought us uh, many victories in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Babs, uh, it's well known that you have many, many interests in life, sport and outside sport, but it's no secret that two of your great loves in life are hurling in your native county. Very much so, Jim, and, but renewing rivalry with Eddie here beside me, <laughs> and you recall about how great times were. I'll tell you now, it was no fun lining out against him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, when I think when I think of how stupid it was, nail, nail or no nail, <laughs> particularly particularly when Fan was around, <laughs> because he wasn't particular where he pulled. <laughs> and if he missed, if he missed, Pa wasn't far behind. <laughs> and I can assure you, Tracy was no distance further back. <laughs> so from that point of view, it is great that Eddie and myself, you know, were able to enjoy a night like tonight because we suffered hardship for long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Briefly, Baz, before I move on, I want, I want to ask the question that so many people all over Ireland have been asking for 30, 40 years, the nickname. Well, I believe it started in the little national school in Grange when there was no more than about 80 or 90 kids, two teachers. And um, there were three Michael Keatings in a small rural parish, and I being the youngest, and invariably I was in trouble at all stages. And so a nickname had to be found for me, and that was the one. And it stuck to me like a saying in the country, which I won't repeat tonight. <laughs> 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 because I know you still even autograph Hurleys and jerseys as Babs, yeah. Babs, yeah. Keating and Eddie Kerr, 11 All-Irelands between them. And uh, Babs, you've won over Eddie. You've won under 21. He doesn't. <laughs> and I don't think Kerr is going to get one now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Martin Kearney is going to speak about one of his contemporaries. Jimmy Barry Murphy. Martin, not everybody here will, will be, you know, of an age that they remember when you hit the scene as a boy wonder, 1972, with the wonder goal. You were a long-haired hippie uh, from Ballyshannon, uh, and uh, your goal wasn't in a final. It wasn't remembered the way Jimmy Barry's was remembered, because he hit the scene a year later, and even though it was unfashionable at the time, he was a skinhead. Oh, he was wonderful. He gave uh, certainly jobs back to barbers <laughs> <laughs> because in my era, most of the lads that played football along with me, I'm afraid, were, to put it mildly, they were quite hair suit and certainly an awful lot of hairdressers went out of business. But just going back to Jimmy Barry, he was a hero of mine all along and I was privileged to play against him in the Rebel Cup. But that goal to me, really, it heralded the birth of a star. Like, funny enough, at that time of his life, Jer Jimmy Barry was more noted to, uh, being a Gaelic footballer than a hurler. He'd won an All-Ireland minor medal in 1972 and followed it up with those two goals against Galway in that particular year and there you know you saw it in there a beautiful fusion of skill and calmness and again the celebration it wasn't the dumb thing with Gaelic footballers at the time that they would kind of throw their arms aloft and celebrate but that simplicity and that innocence and that just joy that came out of the way he played just really as I said heralded the birth of a new player and again the great thing to say about Jimmy Barry Murphy apart from the quality of the goal was that he was an exemplary sportsman yes well said uh, Martin and Babs and Eddie gentlemen wonderful to see you all Des <laughs> 